just what have you done that for? That was fine. Naff off. Oh, I just what have you done that for? That was fine. Naff off. Oh, I just what have you done that for? That was fine. Naff off. Naff off. Naff off. Naff off. Naff off. You mental. You mental. You mental. You mental. You mental. Dig and dig and dig and dig and dig and. I remember the roads is wet the deer because you've got less grip on the roads. Mm -hmm. um, so what can you keep them wet with it? Is it four seconds? It is. Now do you know where you wipe this off? No. See the stalk on the right hand side? The indicator stalk's on the left hand yeah. side on the right. This. So you just push it up one click. Alright. Push it up one click. Now once you start moving to come on one speed, push it up one click. It's not that rough and then push it right down now in the rolling sense. The rear one you just twist. Right, today's lesson with Adam we're doing uh, some tricky spots and manoeuvres. Have you any questions before we start Adam? No. We've just gone through his mock test and he knows all the faults he's made. He's not going to do them again, hopefully. Right, how is the puffer going already? Remember, any questions please ask. So, in this video I'm going to cut a lot of stuff out, just want to put the key points in of it, yeah. so it's easy to watch. I've just done that in the last video Where oh, am I going here, left or right? Left. Press your button on the end of the wipers, so it works out a little better. And left again. You watch the video then. Yeah. Good learning points there, isn't it? Yeah, it was embarrassing. What was that mean? Like? Right, because the bloomin' double yellow man. What the what am I doing? Maybe wipe us up and click now. This will be skidding. Remember, when you drive like that, you're long for no margin of error. Did you look at that roundabout where you went round twice? Yeah. How did you miss that? If you went there again, you went there again. Yeah. Like you think it's like we've got to keep up with the day one, I We've got two options for that. You check where it will go around it, or check where it will go through the snow. Yeah. What hazards do you see up ahead? Uh, but Friday night you've got your best frock on and somebody I come past and soak it. What would you say? You go mad with it? Yeah, but I'll find it when you when you You or somebody you got me going left here. Well I haven't given instructions of where you go. So. You go out on Friday night and come past and soak, you've got your best gear on. Right, have we done the cut of the north roundabout? Uh, no. What's no. up? Oh. When you caught uh, there last week, if them lights is on red, where does the danger come from? If them lights is on green? I guess. I don't know, is it there? 
it is the oncoming traffic turn right so there's nothing going up there you need to look over them like so again you need to look there if you're on red you look to the right you look up here got a few in there cut to the north roundabout it's a really roundabout where you, you give way to the right but then you drive onto the roundabout then you give way to the left you get that? so you drive onto the Give way to the right as normal, then you drive onto the roundabout and give way to the left. You would normally go right, but we're not the subject so far. What we're going to do is turn right and come all the way back around and go down there. I just want to show you this, okay? Yeah. So instead of going right, just go all the way back around down that way. Wow. Right that? that sign means you don't give way at the roundabout. How do we know that? The gap means it's for foreign drivers to remind them to go around the roundabout clockwise. Not any, because foreigners go around the roundabout any clockwise. The position on your approach to the roundabout is on the left hand side here. Yeah. When it's on the left hand side, that means you give way to the right. No, sorry, you don't give it right. When it's down the middle, that means you give way to the right. Got that? Yeah. Now we're going to follow the signs for today. So if you were going for Darling, you wouldn't even slow down on them as a feeling to slow down. There's the roundabout. So we're going to go right for today. Okay, what you do is take heads of the gear and see if you go for Darling. Got that? Sure. When you're ready. When you can go, okay. just stop having a look over your shoulder. Now, that would give you a minute. That would be a minor error if there's something there, it's a serious fault. Drive on the cancel signal and drive on again. Right one will do, I'm not bothered about the left one. You can lose your, uh, you can damage the engine or if you get yeah. a lot of water in the engine. What's all going even slower than what I was? Yeah, I feel it. Because it was quite deep, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. 
So if people come along there on test um, and they went through really fast, I guess it's hopefully. Because it also the, the, the deep water pulls your steering away from yeah. you. So you've got to keep your eyes moving and stuff like that. I went at the roundabout turning right. And you don't want to be cheeky with the examiner sitting next to you. See the giveaway triangle and the giveaway lines, giveaway sign. Can you see alright? Yeah. Well, Matt, Matt, Just go back. all the way back. You wouldn't do it so you you that way. This round vouch is like this, designed like this to keep the floor of the traffic moving. But not that way. Not that way, I see it. Oh, right round. Yes, it says go all the way back round that way. Oh, go and change gear like that. You don't need to stay around the bed. If you've got your steering on, that's fine, but you didn't have your steering, so get the gear. Speed limit on here. Examiner would expect dry conditions about 50, 50, 55 dry conditions. But whether this is fine. Just pull up on the left. Right, um, so we you know that roundabout there? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even give that a second glance. Why is that? What that one you just done there? That one you just done. You, you didn't really hesitate but no, you no, I understood it, I just cocked up at the end. Well you didn't really cock it up but you, you come to the roundabout, it doesn't matter where you're going. Um, you've got cars here in the right lane, you've got to give weight, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Come to the roundabout, you see a car over here. What should you be doing? Just going. However, it was in the, in the right lane, so I can understand why, but when you looked, it was like that look. That's what I wouldn't even bother with this car because there you need the right lane. Now, do you want a free lesson? Are you paying for lessons or is your mum paying for them? I'm paying, my mum's paying, your mum's paying. Right, well if you get this round here in three goes, you can have it for free, okay? Get it turned around and go back the other way. Then we're going to do some sand now. Nice. What so, am I driving to the... No, drive over there, back it up, and go that way. If you do it in three goes, you can have a free lesson. My neck. Who do you think I am? <coughs> I do this. In three goes you can have a free lesson. Don't forget to look all around kissing my cool. 
no bogi lesió. I'll give you a free lesson. I said in three goes. Oh, right. This is your third one here. So this part's number four. I'm still, I'll be still happy with myself turning it around. In five goes. More dry, Stephen. So you've done really, really well there to get round in five. Yeah. Now at the end of the road we're turning right. Now just stop at the junction a minute. Just stop and put your signal back on. Just let's sort this out now. So there's nobody behind. Right, give it a big gas. Can you see that all right? Uh, yeah. Hold on, After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, A167. Arrive at your destination at 9.43 a.m. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Oh, Adam, what have you done that for? That was fine. Enough of, really? You knew that wasn't safe there. You still went. You were pushing them. Yes. Left bomber. How can you do that? I thought that was fine. No chance on it. That on video again. They weren't, they weren't even pulled out, man. No, and it was starting to come on the roundabout and it was coming down here. This is the one, well, can remember when I said you, you've got a weakness in roundabouts, and that is it. Do you know what you get for that on your test? A major. Yes. Really watch it back on video and you see this white car come past, it's only a few seconds later. Pay special attention to the roundabout. Side, roundabout side. After 400 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, B6288, Front Street. I don't get where do I? That's correct. I want to be in second. Yes, because it's going to take the isn't it? Well, that's getting Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. See how there's no giveaway lines. Mm. That's good. Any questions about that? Good. chance to have another free lesson thing if you can explain this to me. So we're at the roundabout. Cancel that. The first roundabout I said I wouldn't give that a second glance because it's going that way. Do you agree? Yeah. Now you hesitate but there's nothing to worry about that, so don't worry about that. But I'm saying when you look you hesitate but I would have just come because it was pointing there look. Mm -hmm. So you hesitate a little bit. Then we've got a car here <laughs> onto the roundabout and you go! It wasn't there, it, man. Well, wait you see it on video. It's all on video. It was It was behind the white line. No, it wasn't behind the white When you started plow, it was on the roundabout. Now, 
Can you explain why you want to go there? Because <sighs> I thought it was behind the white lines. Even if it was behind the white lines, he pulls out quicker than you because they're going downhill. So who you got to give way to there? <laughs> Them. Now, if this had been a big roundabout, you know where the gap's massive? Mm -hmm. Huge, then yeah, go for it because you're not going to slow him down. But there, to, he was on the roundabout, and you'll see it on video. He was on there like that, you shouldn't have gone. You agree? Mm -hmm. Can you explain it? You can have a free lesson? What do you mean, sir? Well, why you would do such a thing? Why, you know, would why, why, why you'd hesitate here? There? Yeah, because they were travelling at a faster speed. Who was travelling at a faster speed? Then when I hesitated. No, what I'm saying is, if you can explain why the car's pointing that way and you you hesitate, oh, yet, in case it came round. Yeah, the car's pointing that way and you want to go. That's not explanation. Exactly, driver when you're in. I'm doing the same trick. So you've got a weakness around the us. Good, well done. I, I think you would have slowed him down, wouldn't you? Yes, yeah. yeah, so that's a good decision. To learn a thing that you know, you all do the same tricks. I've just fed you his Hamish lesson yesterday, right? He done exactly the same. He's done it three lessons in a row. Done what? Pulling out from the cars around three times in every lesson. Like once every lesson. However, he hasn't got a test book, so I'm not worried about him. You oh, are. Man. So you need to start worrying. <clears throat> I don't want to worry, man. You do doing things like that. Yeah, I watched you look at the car and you knew you couldn't go, you know, what are you thinking, I've got to stop then, and you went, oh shit, I'm going, and I thought, what? Yeah, you just look at it and thought, oh, well, I know I can't go, but I just don't want to stop. Should have just stopped. It's at least the rain stop. Yep. Now remember you're following the sat nav. Sat nav. It's not telling. It's right. After 100 yards, turn right, Durham Road. I thought I was going to tell you what to do. I did 300 yards ago. But you forgot when the This is as fast as you want to go around here because of all the parked cars, you wouldn't go any faster, would you? You've got to be watching with the doors on. You see how you're getting a little bit close to that parked car and you realise. Now if you kept it in that gap, you would have got a mine out of it. Turn right. You give it the right, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's indicating left look. Go. Well, you don't give way to them, but they, they give way to you. How can you give way to the left or round? After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second the exit, benches. Clyde Terrace. Don't need a signal. But there's that crossing on the bend, doesn't it? Got you. Is this a test room, is it? Yes. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. goes to the floor. Oof. Put a bit more gas on before you lift the clutch. There's more clutch than gas there. Make sure you scan all the crossings. So when you're driving, look down the left and right hand sides of the road, look the neatest since the middle of the cars on both sides of the road, how fast did you drive with this road? Probably 20. 20, good. Guess what speed learners do on the test? Probably 30. 30, and guess what the examiner does? Yeah. 
which is not safe, is it? When somebody opens the door, you'll end up taking them. And can you pull up in a convenient place on the left? Um, just pull it behind the left, uh, behind that car, sorry. Right, now if you can explain this one to me also, then I'll be more than happy. Um, so we've got a red car to your right. It's signaling left. That's a bit that boggled us. You have a car over here. Now you're going right. So you're there. You see that car is indicating left. Now this car has got this. Remember when you turn right in mini roundabout, if you are turn right and this car is going straight ahead, who gives way to who? No, you give way to me. Can you explain why you just sat there and give way to this car? Because I just wasn't looking at their indicator. Who's well, indicator? Yeah. Oh, right. Well, that's fair common. So what you've got to bear in mind is there's no straight ahead, was there? Mm -hmm. So when pupils come to this roundabout, they will sit and give way to these. If you look the right and they're indicating, Oh, Left. What should you do? Go. What happens if it's indicating right? I'll wait. Good. This roundabout, um, you want um, how many exits is it straight ahead or right? For oh. the one m How many exits for the year one m Three. Good. Is it straight ahead or right? Right. Why would you think right? Because it's like more to the right. Is it not right? No. It's 12 o'clock, but it points to 1. So you class that as straight ahead. Now it's the third X. Now if there's no road markings, which you've got to look for, remember, which limb would you use if there's no road markings? Left. Good. E1M, how many exits? Is it straight ahead or right? Is it the third exit? Nice. How many, uh, is it straight ahead or right? Straight ahead. Good, so if there's no road markings? Left, yeah. Nice one. There's the roundabout. So you're coming from here. One, two, three. You got that? Mm -hmm. Over there. Don't class these as right. There's, uh, let's have a look. There's the roundabout for that one. One, two, three. You got that? Yeah. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Should be cancelled indicator because of com fuzzles of the road users.
longer aware. Yeah. Really closing down the middle. Do the one next to BMW. Now remember, I'll in this name. Pause a minute, just stop a minute. Now, can you have a look at that? What's it look like to you? I need to just put more turn on. Well, you need to put some turn on, definitely. Because you haven't put any turn on yet, have you? Put a tiny bit on. Wait, now, how much turn will tell you to start with? Five. Keep your observations up. It's a really good speed, by the way. Really good. You should have straightened away ages ago, yeah. And just, just straighten the wheel up. Uh, not go forward then. Straighten the wheel up as you go backwards. And that's it. Just put a bit onto the right. 
right hand down and just let it come in, look. Go over your left shoulder. And then no. straighten up. So you look over your left and then your right shoulder. Just straighten your wheel up. That'll do. Put your hand right up on your Right, so it was coming in fine, but what happened there for me, you're going to leave it too late to put your steering on. Now, when you mock test, you put it on too early. When the car goes like that, what you're supposed to do, oh. when it's parallel to the white line, straighten up. Well, you've let the car go like that. And then he says, oh, should I straighten up now? So you've got to be like that. Now, how are you going to tell when it's like that? What are you going to use? Are you going to use your dome or are you going to use the back window, the front window, or your front right window? Door? Well, were you looking forward there? Because I was thinking it was like that, and you were saying, oh, should I straighten up now? Now, when you do that, if you do that, and you straighten the wheel up, where does the back of the car want to go now? Left. Oh, right. Right, so which way do you steer? Left. To straighten up? No, you, you straighten your wheel up. Oh, right, right. Okay. You said, oh, my car wants to go here, so you turn right, mm -hmm. and then when it comes like that, what do you do? Turn it left. There you go. Do another one for us. Um, there's some down here on the left, just a couple of down. Do it between these two cars. Are you mental? Possibly. Just turn left. <clears throat> turn quickly and just go very small. Keep turning. That's it. Just do that second one from the end, just because we're not get really close and down the middle. You need to go a bit further forward and what have you got to do with the wheel before you start? True enough. Now, if you just pause a minute for us, now you know when you're doing your mock test last week, mm -hmm. you put more steering on now, mm -hmm. and you didn't need to, did you? No, this is perfect, isn't this? And that's why it went towards the, the over the white line, so you didn't need to fix it at the moment, right? When you're ready. That's it. Left shoulder again. And let's see if you can tell when it's parallel, when it's straight. No. Go on, then that's it. There you go. No. Put over your right shoulder at the curve so you know where to stop. That's it. Check that. Well, looks good to me, is it in? Uh, it's not very straight, like. Oh, well, I'll be happy with that. It's not far out. It's pretty good. Go and do another one there. Uh, do one on the right hand side. Just turn right here and do one there. So this time you use the right over, don't you? Mm -hmm. Between these cars. Anywhere you want, if you want. No. Well, go on, do it between the no, two no, cars. No, just no. get down the middle. Oh my god. Just a girl's blouse and just get down the middle. Good. Should be easy. You should have more spatial awareness. Look over your left shoulder. Should have more spatial awareness here. Getting a straight way along. Is that not straight? That's straight, isn't it? Should be easy this getting it in there. She got nervous, eh? Look all around the curl. Now it's going downhill, isn't it? So it's just brake control. Good. <clears throat> Keep them observations up. 
bit more around the car because it could be a busy car park. I know it's, it's dead, but we've got to keep looking all around. Pause a minute, does it not look like it's going a bit wide in there? Mm -hmm. Well, what you need to fix it. Which, which way would I put it? This? Which way do you want your car to go? Right. When you stay right. Keep looking all around. Doesn't look straight to me when it's straight. Now it is. A bit more. A bit more, we get it in. Now it's straight now. Now look over your left and right shoulders. And then you know it is stop. A bit further back than your front end sticking over there, isn't it? That'll do. It must be in, is it? I don't know. I was close to that BMW. I kind of check really. Well, why not? It's got to be in there, surely. Aye, right, I'm in, but I was close to that BM. Well, then you know when you made your adjustment, you just put a bit too much on. Can you go and drive into one on the left and right hand sides, please? Careful there because you cannot really see. So just do one on the left and right. I'm pulling a two from the army. Go on, it's up here. Just in, you know, when you turned in, mm -hmm. did you turn a bit earlier or a bit late, do you think? Yeah, early, didn't it? Yeah, just a bit early. Is it in? Yes. So I wouldn't bother fixing this, it's not perfect, but just back it out to the right. Can you just go on left and drive into one of them on the right hand side up there, see that? again, that's it. On the right, yeah. Yeah, just keep it to the left. And if there was cars about there, it'd be indicating there, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Keep on the left and drive one Put the use anyone you want. Is that in or not? Yeah, it looks good to me. Yep. Well, if you do that, you should put your handbrake on your and then look, yeah? Would you fail if you didn't? No, it wouldn't mark him, but you know, sometimes you use up the dog, it's what your foot does. Lift off. Clutch, right, can you back it out to the left? If I was on my test, I'd just stick it on. If you're on the ball, you don't really need it because it's not even at all, is it? Sure, 
wouldn't get away with it if you didn't put this developer could have it. Now at the end of the road we're turning left. Now there's nothing here but would you need a signal on this one? Yeah. Because you can't see to the right, can you? That junction back there we could see it was all clear. That sign, Newcastle. Mm -hmm. See it in front of you? Mm -hmm. If you're going for Newcastle, which lane would I expect you to use there? Left. All day long, it's got to be the left lane. However, all the local traffic use the right lane. Now I'll show you why. Uh, do you see that roundabout look? You know where you. Um, Cocked up. No, no, you know when you turn right, you didn't have to give way. We're now coming down this way. Now, if you look, there's only one lane that's on the right-hand side of the roundabout. Now, if you do check your mirrors and go back to the left, you're not going to get wrong for it. But guess what? All the local traffic use the right and sometimes don't let you back across. Mm -hmm. So when you see that line with the line through, mm -hmm. take the right lane. You got that? This is the only roundabout on your test routes that when you go straight ahead You're on the right And there's no road markings, you're on the right And that's it there How you know is that clue You've got that line come from there to there so, so I'm in the right lane You're in the right lane Now if you do check your mirrors and come back to the left There's nothing wrong with that But sometimes the cars come on the right and don't let you get back across When you're ready then
it's the old Sony one with the other right. Oh, so, and then I signal off when I'm. Yes. the wind and touch the sky. Right, how do you think we went to deal? That was an alright lesson. It was alright lesson? What, yeah. Really? Was there any serious faults to deal? Yeah. What? That bloody round <laughs> Which one? The easy one where I, I don't even know what I was doing. <clears throat> the one where... Um, I was just being cocky. <clears throat> Where the car come from, you're right. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have gone there, definitely not. <laughs> um, 
So if you've got cars from 12 o'clock in the left lane, what should you do? Come from 12 o'clock in the left lane? I can go. You can go, but if they're coming from your right? No. Don't go, it's not worth it. Unless the gap's massive. Or they're pulling off really, really slow. Um, right, what roads have I shown you the day? Uh, oh, one other thing, sorry. Roundabout you come to, you, le you left it very late to look to the right. Mm -hmm. um, you're looking straight ahead and looking left. People don't think that's a roundabout. That's maybe why. Um, we've done the Cock of the North right. What's unusual about that one? Is that the one where you give way at the left? So you drive on the road and give way yeah. at the left. And we come up that way and we turn right. For, um, turn right also. Turn right if the